Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I return IDs in the JSON response from Spring Data REST? Let's break it down. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Go on. To return the ID in the JSON response from Spring Data REST, we need to modify our book entity. Currently, the ID is not included in the response. We can achieve this by adding a getter method for the ID that is annotated with JSON property. This will ensure that the ID is included in the JSON response. Now let's look at the repository. You have already defined the iBooks repository interface, which extends CRUD repository. This is correct and does not need any changes. After making these changes, when you access the repository using curl, you should see the ID included in the JSON response alongside the name. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To return IDs in a JSON response from Spring Data REST, you can create a configuration class. This class implements Repository REST Configurer. Inside the method, use the exposeIDs for function to specify which entity's IDs to expose. In this case, it's the book class. You can also expose IDs for other entities by uncommenting the relevant line. This allows flexibility in your API responses. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To return IDs in a JSON response from Spring Data REST, you can use a simple configuration. This solution works for all entities. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To return IDs in a JSON response from Spring Data REST, you can use the static method repository REST .with config. This method allows you to easily create instances that modify the repository REST configuration. You can find an example of this method in the Spring Data REST integration tests. Here's how to implement it in your code. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To return IDs in a JSON response from Spring Data REST, you can use a projection. This allows you to customize the data returned for a specific entity. This method is effective for controlling the output of your API responses, ensuring only the necessary data is included.
For more details, you can check out the full article on Belding. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.